YouTube, two hours to make the squad. $450 spent on playoff packs. They weren't good, but we got the God Squad. And Dummy is your Madden Bowl Bro, what is up with these no, guys? Super bummer, dude. Ooh. Here it is, boys. 50 Ghosts of Mutt Future and 25 Mutt 24 playoffs. So we're going to get three plus speed on Mutt Future and one plus speed on the playoff cards. The new playoff promo is lit. I'll show you guys what I got. Let's see. All the old linemen on both on both programs get multiple. So you got to have all old linemen. I believe uh, Ghost of Future actually gets plus three. But this is what we got. We got the new Taylor Decker, Spencer Brown. You know, we're rocking, you know, the backup, say Malu, 94 overall backup. That's tough, but you do it for the chems. I'm going to use Isaiah Likely. I can always go back to uh, our boy Tony G, but Isaiah Likely, if you guys watch No Money Spent, if you guys even played Mutt this year, this card was a god. Now, does it look that amazing? Not really, but I'm going to give him a shot because this dude got so busy early in the year, and I have no idea why. I mean, six foot five is just, we're just going to give him a try because he was a lord on that first month of the game. Deion Sanders, Darius A. Bay Bay, and Zay Flowers, the limited with Slot Apprentice. Now, it does cost two on Zay Flowers, but I could use Rasheed Rice, but I'd rather use the best card possible for this, and Zay Flowers is it. Uh, 97 speed, 510. A little bit taller than Tyree Kill, but, I mean, we'll see how he gets done. Zay Flowers been a beast this year as a rookie for the Ravens going into the playoffs, so he's the number one guy in the slot right now. William Perry still rocking the quarterback. Everybody talks about Julian Love. I don't know how you go away from this actual mountain of a man. I have no idea how you go away from this card all year. Like, this is it, this card's insane. He gets the gift wrap, gunslinger, Sefi lead. He gets all of that for five. Now it's six. So there's really no card that I think was going to be better than this one. And so even if he does lose his speed, even if he's at 94 speed, this card's insane. And the trust ability where I don't fumble really helps me a lot. Honestly, really does. Jordan, Julian, Love, same thing. Same difference. You know, Deion Sanders, Hayward Bay, both right now have 98 speed. So these guys are going to get up out of there. You see they're catching traffic. It's actually a little bit low because that I was worried about that. Ghost of Mud Future does have some negatives to it. You see catching traffic is lower right there. Pass block is lower. Carry is 12 points lower. So we'll see if these boys fumble. It could be an actual, it could be, it could be something we're worried about, but 98 speed out there. You got to love it. Got to go with that. Um, we got Derrick Henry. We keep him on the bench. So his ability is only for the red zone where I need him to fight for extra yards. I guess we'll use Dre Archer running back with 98 speed. So defense, this is where this is a really good team. We're able to get the new Darius Slay. This is probably the one must have card in the program because he's get, he gets that deep knockout ability that is very coveted for two AP and he's not five foot 10 like the other guys. So now I will tell you as we go through the team, when Darius Slay wasn't on the Eagles, I swear Darius Slay was six foot one. Now all of a sudden one, he's gotten slower and now he's only six foot tall. Can I get some confirmation in the comments in the chat that Darius Slay used to be taller than six one or six foot tall. He used to be six one, I swear. But anyway, this is what we got. 95 speed with that plus one speed deep out knockout on the deep zones i mean he's gonna be he's gonna be the god so there it is and then i have randy moss on the other side i used to have him in the slot gonna use him on the outside as my number one corner with the deep out and the lurk artist Bo jackson we're actually going to use in the middle safety with deep in and pick artists ryan neal is going to play by new strong safety this is another great card in the program ryan neal six foot three 96 speed he actually has mid zone knockout for 2 AP mid zone knockout is really good. Pretty much any single zone within one within you know 20 yards is knocked out in the yellow zone. So he's gonna play a yellow zone or a purple zone a lot for me. And then we have Malik Hooker. I'm gonna put him in the slot as well. This is another 96 speed card. Like that's I mean he's a stud, 6'1, and he gets pick artists for zero. And then the most coveted card that I have right now, Nick Bosa, the new limited, over two million coin, two million coins for this card. And I'm actually going to put Edge Threat Elite on him and see how it works. I played somebody did earlier. Edge Threat was back. Edge Threat is back. So we'll see. That's all my 11 AP. We'll see how it works. This is the squad. I really like it. We're going to put Peppers. We still have him. Put Peppers in the slot. We'll do that. And we'll see how this team works, boys. We really will. 50 Ghost of Future Mutt and 25 playoffs. We get plus three speed on the Ghost of Future cards and plus one speed on the playoff cards. This team wasn't cheap and we got it done fast. Let's see how it works.
Yeah, his players on this tournament. Burkle's gonna be like a meta guy, but like a little shittier version. So he's gonna have his own, like he might run more. He might be more RPOs. He might, it's gonna be some bunch to something. A lot of bunch strong, probably. Bunch offset, okay, double post. I don't have Payton Hills because he's too much money. This dude is just that fucking tired, huh? Yeah. God fucking damn it, dude. Bulls is stamina? I mean, he's still in the game now. No, Bolsa got after it right there, huh? Did Bolsa get after it right there? I'll tell you this dude, this dude, Roquan Smith, has the worst. He's got the worst stamina of anybody I use. Out of bounds, stepped out. Let's go. No, my whole team is good except for fucking Roquan. There's just no fucking way. Oh my God, come on, man. Bo, like, I, I guess I gotta move him to the middle there so that doesn't happen, but there's just no way you get that routed right there. Like, that's bad, man. Cause Roquan is so tired. Like, he, I, I, want, I didn't want to blitz Carmichael because he's so small, but like, that was bad. That cover three can just get hit like that. Come on, Bo, you gotta be better there. Hmm. I guess Roquan is too small. Like, I want Fred Warner back, bro. Man covers, are you man covers me? We didn't get in right there. We didn't get in right there. Like, come on, boys. Like, fuck. I mean, my fullback just ran by everybody right there. Good shit, fullback. I swear to God, never piss me more off than the goddamn fullback. God damn it, dude. I really just fucking just seen streak just fried me right there. No, my fucking God, dude. I fucking hate this game, dude. I just cocksucker ass player, dude. I mean, if I sneak in this one, quit the RPO. Dude, my linebackers are just so fucking tired, dude. Like, Roquan Smith is just out for the game, dude. Oh my god, there's just no way this is what I'm playing right now in my life. Will Anderson oh my god the boys right now like the boys are just fucking exhausted oh the safety gotta be in the fucking purple when you do that shit W fuck man come on man like you know better than that shit if it doesn't quick snap it's not fucking verticals dude god damn it fucking Burkle's scoring on me where is my life at Fucking RPOs, dude. I swear to God, I hate them shits with a passion. Somebody here. Hey, 
No, I could have took a little more time, but I gotta take that toddy right there. Fuck, man, like that's too much. Clock's still running though. Of course, what? God damn it, man. Fuck, just give up a field goal that fucking easily, dude. Holy shit, man. Fuck, man. Well, my defense is fucking terrible. Like, this shit is fucking awful. It's a quick snap, trips tight end, and just shuck a fucking corner out. But like I said, dude, if that was a knockout, defense would be too good in the game. Like, defense would be actually too good. Like, they would fucking cry. If they let you knock that shit out on the sideline, which it should, they would fucking cry, dude. Like, that shit is the worst part about defense in the game right now. Like, that was such... Oh my god, man. Like, I just... I can't do nothing else. Everybody shaded up right there. You know, it's nothing else I can really do right there. Oh my god. Oh, and, oh, no way. That's a fumble? Oh my fucking god. Ow! Like, dude, that's just fucking miserable, man. And who the fuck am I using, man? Like, dog, I'm telling you, that's why that trust shit. I, I fumble so much in them situations, dude. So fucking much in them dumbass situations. Just cross the line, we're fumbling the fucking ball. Thank you. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude. Cause he crossed the line. When you cross the line, you literally just get hit right there and just fucking fumble, dude. Sadly, I don't like how much Dre Archer is touching the ball. Fumble again. Oh, thank God, dude. I'm not stressing nothing, bro. I need to just play better defense, dude. Oh my god, man. That's so fucking bad, dude. Like, get, uh, get yo, dog. Like, this is so fucking bad, dude. Dude, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, dude. I'm just gonna, like, like, the luckiest shit in the fucking world right now. Roquan Smith is just out. Can Roquan Smith not play linebacker? Can Roquan Smith not play linebacker in this game? Is he just not good enough to play fucking linebacker? Roquan Smith. I'll tell you the one ability I'm going with for dollar is edge start elite. That's cooked. I haven't seen Bosa do a goddamn thing. It's really for that ability is really for fucking bots. Fumble that shit, man. That's crazy how bad this shit is, dude. And we're single back wing slot again. Nice, dude. Ready? There's no way I'm onside kicking up two points. Like, there's literally no way this is a thing in the game. There's no way this is allowed on any fucking tournament site or any any game in the world that you're winning in the fourth quarter and you're onside kicking me. Like, what are we doing, dude? Like, how is this acceptable at any fucking human being? Just crib it, dude. 
Come on, Zay. Like, just such bitch-ass fucking play, dude. That's why you'll never be nothing in Madden. Fucking Burko, dude. So I'm telling you, bro, that shit is so fucking troll. The goddamn onside kicking, dude. I mean, that purple zone just tried to play its fucking ass off, dude. Likely! He's a boost! I stared that down, I can't lie. Alright, can we get a fucking stop? It's trips tight end that's killing you, dude. It's fucking trips that just like, just puts me in a blend, a binder, blender, blinder. Why wouldn't it be RPO? Why wouldn't it, dude? That's why you have pick artists in the slot, not flat knockout, not mid zone. You got pick artists in the slot. That's why you have it in the slot, dude. Though it's crazy how bad Roquan Smith is, dude. Oh my fucking god, dude! Why would he not just quick snap verticals? Why wouldn't he do that? Why wouldn't that be what he does there? Why wouldn't it be what he does? Why, 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 why not? Why wouldn't that be what he does there? Why wouldn't it be it? Good, good eyes, Burko. You're fucking just clueless, dude. Luckily, they put RPOs in the game so you can have some type of fun. You know, luckily. Luckily, they put RPOs in the game so you could play, you could, you know, have success.